I'm Pamela with Pamela's Work, and this is how you play the game. So the written instructions for Ulta Young may not be all that clear. Uh, hopefully this video will clear some things up. There's some repetition, but of course we know a repetition tends to help us when we're trying to learn something new. Uh, the basic things to keep in mind, uh, the setup, seven cards, three, seven columns, three cards on each column. You deal seven cards to yourself, and then the stack that's left is your filler stack to fill in any spaces that you create, which you do want to create because that's the easiest way to get more cards exposed because you'll need more cards exposed so you can see who you need to to place up top. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. And then the two main ways to manipulate your movement, uh, the, the two things to keep in mind when you need to move the cards is number one, you can move a family member onto another family member and then any cards that are on top of that family member goes with them. Uh, you also want to be careful about having all family members stacked on top of each other because uh, once they're there they can't go anywhere so if you need the person that's on the very bottom they are there until you place everybody else so yeah so you definitely don't want david's family and saul's family on top of everything because they're last do your research so this is how you start you have seven rows of three cards each, and then you deal seven cards to yourself, and then what's left is your filler stack. As you empty rows up top, you fill them with three cards from your filler stack. Once you've exhausted all these cards, then you can start putting patriarchs in the empty spaces. You can also play these cards anywhere you please. You can play them up here, or you can play them directly to a suit stack, But you should have seven at all times. So if you empty a space here, you also fill it from. Also replace it with a card from your filler stack. Because you have seven cards down here at all times until you run out of cards in this stack. So we're starting with the oldest person of each suit. We've got Eve down here. She's the oldest wife in the deck. So she'll be the beginning of our wife stack. We also have Cain. What a wonderful deal. He's the oldest of the sons, so he'll start our son's suit stack. And of course, Abel came after Cain, so he comes next on top of him. Now we've emptied a space down here, so we can fill that from our filler stack. Of course, Cain's nowhere, or not Cain, but Adam is nowhere to be seen. The firstborn of Lot, his daughter, is the oldest daughter in the deck. So we want to try and free her some kind of way, which means we'll have to remove either Lot or just Zipporah, which we can do. We can move Zipporah over to Eleazar because he's in her family. So now the firstborn of Lot is only one under. So if the person only has one family member on top of them, you can free them from that. To place them on the suit stack. Well, yeah, you move a family. You can move a family member to a family member. Uh, the main thing to keep in mind is if you need, say, in this situation, if you were to need Elkana, you could get him because he's only one family member deep. But once I move Panena over here, if I need Elkana, I can't move him because he's two family members deep. But I can move Samuel because he's only one family member deep. There we go. Okay. This is one of the situations you may run into when playing the game. You'll have three family members stacked on each other. So if you needed Panina, no problem. You can get her. If you needed Samuel, also not a problem. If the person only has one family member on top of them, you can, you can just pull them out and use them as you need them. But if they have two family members stacked on top of them, you can't move them, they're locked in. And then if they have, say, 
Jemima was on top of this stack, then you can't move any of them. Their family has to be free in order to move them, but you can move her here. So in this example, if you're wanting to move the younger daughter of Lot onto Lot, which you can do because family member to family member, when you move her, you take all the cards that are on top of her and they move with her. And now that you have an empty space, you fill it with three cards hey Moses, from your filler stack. Still don't have Adam, but we do have these guys to start. So now you're looking for the next card after Eve, the next card after Abel, and we want to free her so we can move her up to the suit stack. So the next son I need is going to be him. I know. Do your research. You'll find out. And then after him comes him. And I want him, but he's buried, so I'm going to have to wait. I've created a space down here, so I can fill that water card from my filler stack, and it's still not Adam. So, the best I can do is try and create a space to use three more cards from the filler stack. And the easiest space is going to be here. I can move Moses onto his wife. And then take three more cards from the filler stack. And I still don't have Adam. Hmm. So I still didn't flip over anybody that I could use. So I'm basically just going to try and keep continuing to create empty spaces so I can flip over more cards from the filler stack. So what I can do is move her to there, which means I can then move this column to there because they're related and now I have a space three more cards from the filler stack and that still does not oh yeah it does yeah it does yeah it does okay so we can move him to there and then her to here and then her to there so now she's free. So that gives us a chance uh, to put up some more daughters because she's next. And then after her comes her and her and her. And again, I've created another space down here, so I can flip one over from my stack. And I don't need him yet. I don't need any patriarchs yet, because Adam still has not shown his face. So then I'll just keep creating spaces so I can flip over more cards. So I can move him to there, which gives me three more cards out of the stack. I'm confident that once you get down the basics on how to play the game uh, that you will enjoy playing it because there's a lot of strategy involved in making sure that you don't block people that you're going to need later. But most importantly, do your research first. Make your cheat sheet so that you know who comes next to keep you from blocking people. So of course this is the beta testing part of the situation. I've been told more than once that I do not think like other people think, which means that when I write instructions, they're not always as clear as I think they are. So if they're not, please tell me so that I can improve them so that when people actually start, you know, other people get the game, they will be able to understand the instructions or I can just make a new video with the new instructions. That works too. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so watch this, enjoy playing it, and then tell me what's wrong. Or tell me what's right. Yeah, tell me both. Tell me what's wrong and tell me what's right. Yeah, feedback, please, feedback. And remember, the winner is whoever has the most fun. 
tong 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 paki tong ki tong ali mango sadaga malakia masarap mahirap mahuli sat pat kat nangangagat